Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kevin with survivalistboards.com. Today we are taking a look at a through night Neutron C2 C2 Cool White. Is that through night sent me an email? Hey, would you like to do another review? Sure, I'd love to do another review. Because I really I like it. I like my flashlight reviews. I like doing this. I like subjecting them to various little things like drowning them and freezing them and whatever else. This is an unboxing. I have not opened this until just now. And what I see is what you see. Oh, this is rechargeable. Okay, cool. Cool. Send you two little tabs of one of the flashlights that I did for them that I drowned it. And that it says water resistant or waterproof or whatever the flashlight was. And it leaked water around this and I ruined the flashlight. So I'm not going to do that this time. I'm not going to do that. We're not going to subject it to a drown test simply because we already know that water can leak in around this that getting rained on stuff like that it'll be fine but for submersion from the last review so I'm not going to drown it so this flashlight comes apart and you just take that little cap out something that I was reading about this flashlight is like you can use it with just one battery or hang on we're going to be getting this a bit later I just want to make sure on this so how cool is that guys how cool is that? Small enough for some type of weapon light maybe. A handgun light or something. Put that on there. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, that's pretty awesome. It's got a memory on it that you turn it off to whatever brightness you want. And then just hold the button down. And it's supposed to go from something like... All right, guys, let's move on to the drop test. From about a height of four feet. One, two, dropping it on the end, it quit working for a second, took it apart, didn't take it apart, I just kind of loosened it up, tightened it back up, and it started working again. All right, so let's keep going. Let's drop it on the side, about four feet. Another one, I'm gonna drop it on the end. Okay, let's see if we can replicate that light going out by dropping it on the tail cap. About four feet, guys. And it kept working. All right, good deal. Let's move on to the next test. As y'all know, I live in a rural area. Use my flashlights for real life applications. Hear the dogs barking, get my flashlight, go outside and look what's going on. Go check on the chicken house, go check on the chickens. Stuff like that. I've been playing around with this flashlight for, I guess, probably about a week, week and a half now. And I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. The, um, unlike a lot of flashlights that have a preset brightness, is this one here. You hold the button down. Let's just hold it and run, let it run through its cycle. It'll take just a minute. This is adjustable brightness, so if you let off and then turn it off, then turn it back on, it goes to the last brightness used. Turn it off with two quick clicks, it goes to maximum brightness. And all I have to say is, wow, absolutely wow. Another thing that I like is that it's got the LED here on the push button so you can see the push button at night 
turn it off go back to the low setting and now it's back blue what some of the one of my complaints about the three knot flashlights is that the button can be rather difficult to find at night and with that blue led and whenever it goes to red it means you're starting to run out of juice so let's just get right here with some bushes so that we can see what's going on we're just going to hold the button down and adjust the brightness let it cycle through everything then we'll let it go back down then we turn it off turn it back on it goes to the last one let's get out here and we'll take some pictures Hey Ellis, Zoe, it's okay. They're kind of camera shop for some reason. Oh, hey Ellis. Anyway, there's Buster. We are out here on the road, and we, instead of using a truck, we're going to run, use a four wheeler. We're going to run over the flashlight a couple of times, and then we're going to do the drag test, the pull test with an ATV. Whenever I talk about these flashlights and I say I like replacing the lanyard with a little something a little bit more durable, like trot line strength, 300 pound trot line strength, because of stuff like this. I mean, that's just like a little piece of dental floss or something. So just some type of monofilament wire, monofilament line wrapped in like nylon string. So now I have to go find a flashlight. Well, guys, I got off lucky. Look at here what I found. Look what I found. This old pipe we used to run across the property. Yes, sir. Let's see if it works. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. And there we go. You just need to be tightened back up, that's all. And it is working. Yes, sir. That is one nice flashlight. I like that. I like that a lot. So what do I think about the 2C? So I think it lives up to the through night standard of quality. I like that it's got the little LED button right there so that you can see it at night while you're, while you're using it. Now some of these little buttons, they, they're, they're so flush that with gloves, even without gloves, I mean, they're kind of difficult to find. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll point that belt clip towards the on-off switch. So if I find a belt clip and I just come forward, then I find all very off little damage. I'm really surprised that it was hitting these rocks, bouncing around, and there's just very little damage to the housing. And that I like that. I like that a lot. Some of y'all know that I live in a rural area. This is the kind of stuff that I use my flashlights with. Like I'll go out and check on the chickens at night. There's my guineas. There's another chicken up in there, and there's one of my Australorps. So I use my flashlights for everyday purposes out here in the farm. The belt clip is very sturdy. It's on there nice and firm, nice and tight. That thing's not coming off unless you take a screwdriver or something, pop it off. Pouch is typical through night quality, which is I'm not complaining. I love that it's got a D-ring. And you've also got your belt clip here or belt loop. That you take your backpack or something if you want to keep some of your gear on the outside and put you a snap ring there. So drop that down a little bit, then put you another snap ring through here so it's secured in two places. Something like that. So what's my final rating of the Through Night 2C? Is that I was going to give it a 9.5 out of 10, but man, it's that you can take and take that off and then get it down to that size right there for a weapons light or something, just something small and compact. And anyway, being able to use different types of batteries is a big, big plus. I was going to take off 
a little bit for the lanyard hole not being big enough to use a pip the regular piece of cord on but i have to add back a few points for the versatility of being able to use different types of batteries so i'm going to give this flashlight like a 9.7 9.8 out of 10. like the beam it's plenty bright absolutely love that the beam is adjustable just hold that down like what we saw at the night time just hold it down double click it for the uh, brightest setting or for the strobe i mean it's just that i'm very very happy with this is probably one of the this is probably the best through night flashlight that i have looked at for options love that it's rechargeable but once again we have to realize that it's not waterproof, that that will keep water out. But if you submerge it, but we're not taking it scuba diving, we're not taking it snorkeling, nothing like that. That if you submerge it for just a few minutes, that water will start leaking inside of there. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the video. If you have any comments, any criticisms, please post a reply. Let me know. I will talk to y'all later.